Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits again. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, different busing techniques. Uh, how to get your signal from one place to another uh, without uh, getting any delay. So I have a little example set up here. In the end of the video, we're going to get these lines over here without creating any um, signal delays. Um, I mean, obviously we're going to have signal delays, but we're not going to have any um, unsyncing issues. So it's all going to be synced together. But right now I'm going to show you two different busing techniques. So uh, we start out with 15. Uh, that's the signal strength that we get uh, by default. When we get over here, um, we're going down the line. And then we run out of signal strength. Okay, well, usually you'd place a repeater to repeat the signal. Um, but, you know, that only gets you so far. If you're doing anything very long uh, distance based, then you're going to have to do something a little different. So we get to zero, and then, um, like I showed in the other, um, in the first video, you can place a redstone will go through a block, and then you can place a repeater. But since this repeater, you know, you could do this, but you wouldn't get the optimal amount of signal strength. So what you do is this, and then you get um, 15 again. So that gets you a lot farther than that. Um, so now I'm going to show you the folding technique that I use for getting stuff uh, around a turn without losing any sinking. So that's what we're going to do now. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take this line and put it over on the opposite side of this. So right here. So you take that and bring it up and then over. Uh, we can make this a little bit cleaner and do this. There we go. And then we take this one and we bust this just uh, for cleanness. We can do this. We bring this under here. So you'll see a pattern emerging in a moment. And then we take this line. We bust it up a little bit. So we can still get this last line through there. Like so. right there. So once this goes through it's going to flip the signal so you won't get uh, your signal will be flipped so you'll have to flip it back around. But you can do the same folding pattern and you won't lose any signal strength. So we can just do this. So, and then we bring this line underneath all of these, like this. So this goes here. And all of the lines will be exactly the same length, so therefore um, there's no sync issues. And this will become um, fairly important in the next few videos. Um, whenever we start like actually putting together our CPU. So we're going to do the same busing technique that we did here. Since all of these uh, come to the same length. Like 
And we can just do this. And that will be 15. So, they all come out um, to the same length. You just remove these blocks. So this one's 14, this one's 14, and this one is 14. So this will be the end of this video. If you like it, then hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.